I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. Today on Passport Kings, we're seeing what's up with Miami. Engage. With weather as horrible as it is all across the country, I decided to take a look at the video I did on Miami a few months back. At least, just seeing the beautiful palm trees and beachfront life would make me feel nice and warm on the inside, if not the outside. I heard that there are more pink flamingos made in plastic than they are in reality. I know the best place to see real flamingos is in Aruba, but maybe we don't need an authentic island experience just to get out of the cold. A plastic experience today is just as good. To me, Miami is like a plastic wonderland. I say plastic because Miami culture is a mix of abroad places like Cuba, Haiti, Aruba, and Belize, along with local cultures like New York and Los Angeles. They say the party never ends in Miami Beach. Being on the southernmost tip of Florida, it enjoys maritime climate. You are pretty much in the Caribbean, so weather-wise, no other state in the U.S. can match. And in an otherwise cold country, super sun and bikini-clad beaches are very important. The Golden Sands on Miami Beach attracts millions of tourists every year, and we especially love hanging out down there during the fall. The Scarface movie had a few scenes filmed on the Ocean's Drive Strip, but like 42nd Street in New York, Hollywood Boulevard in LA, and Bourbon Street in the NO, these tourist traps have really been cleaned up by their cities, almost sterilized. That makes them more safe and makes them attract more tourists from all over the world. You can still find your typical big city homeless population, but for the most part, they're harmless. Miami is internationally known for its beaches. Anything that makes more scantily clad women come to a city, I'm all for it. It was a shock the first time I was in a cab headed to my hotel and saw droves of women walking up and down the street in nothing but bikinis. Go anywhere across the globe for its beaches and Miami Beach and its Atlantic Ocean kissing up against the land rivals them all. Certain food spots find its Latin roots when it comes to hospitality. You can find an authentic Cuban or Puerto Rican restaurant on most corners. The owners of the little restaurants and bodegas between Ocean's Drive, Collins Street, and Washington Ave were smart enough to band together to keep franchise-type restaurants who would want to monopolize the food industry down there out. They even kept Walmart away so the locals can sell their wares without competition from the one-store-fits-all community business robbers that have taken over the rest of America. The unique look of the buildings on the strip is called Art Deco because of their colors and shapes. However, when you look at the joints in the daytime, to me, they just look like the pounding of the rain just chipped off all the paint. The same that can be said about all the authentic buildings in the Caribbean that Miami Beach tries to mimic. At times, Miami can get rained on pretty harshly, but unlike other states, Florida has a tendency of having rainfall that lasts less than an hour. And when it's over, it's even hotter than it was before the rain started. Hurricanes and the shark threats have been known to happen, but they are so few and far in between that it's not even a factor when deciding when it's time to visit Miami Beach. Living on this coastal beach can be expensive. Miami Beach is touristy, meaning you will have to pay tourist prices for small things like food, souvenirs, clothing, and liquor. To avoid those prices, you could ride across the bridge to regular Miami, but the ride would be so long, you would probably be better off just paying the high prices when compared to what you would spend on gas. If you are originally from a big US city, Miami's prices are actually not that outrageous. Menu cards from restaurants combine seafood extravagance with five-star restaurants. Watch out for the super pretty girls on the strip inviting, almost shaming you into coming into the restaurants that they have on Ocean Drive. I guess it's a great marketing scheme, but there are so many spots to choose from, I suggest that you walk all the way up and down before making your decision. The choices of seafood, steak, and everything else you would find at a hotel on a sacred island will be available. These days when I'm down there, I would eat out all fancy one of the nights, but after that, I'm filling up with Subway sandwiches and local cheaper bodega type restaurants for cheaper prices and more authentic Latin taste. The beaches give ample space and opportunity for sports enthusiasts. The beach volleyball events as well as the water sports are found all over the place. The clubs and small set pubs provide many options for people to enjoy. Parasailing, jet skiing, and the water scooters are all available for you. For the not so adventurous types, 
The beach is full of serene places to bask in the sunny sands and just chill out for the day. I don't need a tan, but the sun does give me super energy. I love the sun, and if I get a little darker while recharging, I'm all for it. Even if you're just going down to Miami to catch a cruise, try your best to get an extra day of vacation before the actual cruise and hang out on the strip that night. It's a vacation experience that everyone should have before leaving this earth. The days of the cocaine cowboys is all but non-existent. They have all gone legit decades ago. You may see some Lamborghinis and Ferraris still shooting down the street, but a lot of them are rentals or young dudes who were smart enough to jump on the Silicon Valley slash internet highway and take advantage of all the incredible ways to make money online in the information age. I've been to Miami a few times in my life and every time I had a blast. One of my brothers, Mike DeMarco, lives down there full time. It's always dope to go see him and explore the strip for a few hours. Don't forget to check out the song he's dropping called My Lane that'll be available on January the 23rd. Nightlife is the same as downtown New York in the 90s, but with excellent weather. Drunk girls and bums begging. And towards midnight, the whole place just gets a little seedy. But if you are single, you are in paradise. Chicks came down there to get away from their restrictive rules in their hometown. I wouldn't say take advantage of them, because it'd be more like them taking advantage of you. I just want to say though, if you are just a guy who does not have game, you may not get lucky here, or out of the country for that matter, or anywhere you go. Step your game up and have a strategy for when you meet women. Exercise every day, eat right, and click the link above for some great ways to work out your mental game. As of right now, I'm not trying to relocate myself, but if I ever leave Atlanta and I'm still not ready to leave the US altogether, Miami may be my next destination, or LA, or anywhere where one will be treated like a king of a passport king. Peace.